Welcome to Selborne Village in beautiful Hampshire. We're here today at Gilbert White's house and garden. We're doing a short film for tour planners to use when they're planning their tours to this beautiful part of the world. Our aim is to show you how easy it is to include this wonderful attraction in a Hampshire group tour. We're talking about fantastic explorers, a beautiful garden, an amazing house, and the visionary himself, the world famous Gilbert White. And I'm going to be meeting Kimberly, who's going to be showing me around. I'm Kimberly James. I am the collections and marketing manager here at Gilbert White's House and Gardens. And what you can see here is a beautiful country home set within some wonderful countryside and 25 acres of garden and parkland. So Gilbert White was an 18th century writer and naturalist. He wrote a book called The Natural History of Selborne, which was published in 1789 and has never been out of print since. And it has been published so often it's thought to be the fourth most published book in the English language. Here at Gilbert White's House and Gardens, we're able to offer um, a really wonderful package where we can have a member of staff take a group round and give them a really in-depth guided tour around the house, or you can go with our gardener and have a really lovely and insightful tour around the, um, around the gardens. What you can expect to see here is a fantastic um, variety of different things. So we have uh, the Gilbert White story where you can uh, be inside Gilbert's house, learn about him and his work and really get a feel about what life was like here in Selborne in the 18th century. And then as you move around the house, you'll then find yourself in the Frank Oates Gallery, where you can find more about his really fascinating story and move from Victorian Leeds all the way through to Central America and into Southern Africa before then finding yourself um, at the South Pole in our Antarctic gallery. So today we will be meeting our volunteer brewers who work at Gilbert White's Brew House. We'll be meeting Keith Oakley who is our gardener and we will also be meeting Joe Sorg who is our catering manager. I'm Gren, I'm Chief Brewer at uh, Gilbert White's Brew House in uh, Selborne. Uh, we've got our three main units, which are the hot liquor tank, the mash tun and the kettle. And you would also see some fermenters there, which hopefully will be bubbling away on the day. Uh, we can normally arrange for people to, to try some of the beers. And of course, ideally, uh, they can then go into White shop or into the museum, buy some and take it away with them. Uh, we're, we're very happy to uh, take a big group, divide it into two, give them some information about the theory of brewing, what's actually involved, what the process is, uh, also to allow them to have the, the opportunity to look at and taste and sample the malts, the range of malts that we use and the range of hops that we use. Uh, and then we can give them an, an opportunity to taste each of the beers. Uh, that's no problem at all. White's Cafe is a really welcoming space. We look after groups, they can have a great day here. They can come in, they can have tea and coffee, homemade cakes, homemade, homemade biscuits. Wow. Um, and then they can come back at lunchtime and have a lunch that they've probably pre-ordered. We've got a group menu that they can order from and lots of yummy things, all using local produce and they can finish it off with a homemade cake or even homemade ice cream. I guess it's quite seasonal as well, what you offer? Absolutely, because we're, we're very lucky here that we've got amazing local suppliers, but we've also got our own herb garden, our own fruit and veg kitchen garden. So we cook as much of that as we can. We use local honey, local meat, even our coffee's roasted a few miles away. What does the cafe stand for? What, what's its ethos, do you think, Joe? We want to give people a really warm welcome somewhere that they can have fun, they can socialise, they can have a sit down after touring the gardens and the museum. It's a great place to meet friends. We have all ages here. So we have from three year olds to a hundred year olds and we make sure there's something for everyone. I'm here with Keith Oakley, who is the gardener of Gilbert White House. Keith, that's a lovely outfit. Yeah, well, when you've got style, you've got to flaunt it, you see. 
Absolutely. Now, can you tell me why the garden is so important to Gilbert Whitehouse? Uh, the garden has always been a really important part of, of what we have here at Gilbert White's house. Uh, it's, it's like a, a landscape garden in miniature. Uh, it's very popular with groups, so we have a lot of groups through here. And uh, we, we do garden tours. Uh, they can have a tour uh, kind of uh, tailored to what they want. What can we expect to see around the gardens here? So the garden was constructed by Gilbert White, mainly in the 18th century. Uh, he was trying to construct what was called a, a, a landscape garden. Uh, so we've got the, the features that he put in, like Statue of Hercules and the Ha Ha. He was a very uh, keen uh, vegetable gardener, so we've got all the fruit and vegetable patches as well. We've got the ornamental parts, like the six quarters, where we are now. We've got the meadow, uh, which has always been part of, uh, of the garden here as well. Uh, my favourite bit is probably the kitchen garden. that I started as a volunteer in the kitchen garden. I've always been a, a fruit and veg grower. It's a mix. It's meant to look like an authentic 18th century kitchen garden, but we aim to produce a, a lot of uh, uh, produce uh, that can be used in the kitchen as well. So during the winter, we'll be supplying onions, potatoes, um, lots of beans, uh, pumpkins, other squashes that they can use in soup. Uh, so yeah, if you're eating in the cafe, that it's quite likely that you'll be eating something produced in the garden. Now tell me a little bit about the Ha Ha, because uh, some of our viewers might not know what a Ha Ha is. Okay, well technically it should be called a Ha Ha, it's meant to be an expression of surprise as you come across it. Now the idea in the 18th century was that uh, people were beginning to appreciate like views of the natural world a lot more than they had before. And so if you owned a, a, a piece of land, you wanted to have a nice uninterrupted view of your estate. Uh, the problem was uh, the livestock, that you needed to keep the livestock off your lawn. So a ha-ha was a sunken wall uh, at the end of the lawn. So you could have your view across your estate, but the, the sheep and the cattle couldn't get onto your lawn. Hi, I'm Andy Martin. I'm the owner of Candy Tours. We provide a real mixture of day trips, holidays and group travel in the southeast of England. Oh, we love um, to bring groups here. It's uh, a stunning setting for the house. It's really interesting exhibitions, both for Gilbert White, the famous naturalist, and for the Oats exhibitions. There's a brew house there, a shop, and a tea room. And there's other things to see in the village as well. And if you just want to cross the road from Gilbert White House and Garden, you can come to the beautiful and quintessentially English churchyard and church of St Mary's uh, and of course you can see the final resting place of the great Gilbert White. Well we've had a lovely time here at Gilbert White's house and garden in Selborne Hampshire. We've been looked after very well by Kimberley and the team here. They've shown us every aspect of this fantastic attraction. Please consider including this great attraction in your plans. Thank you.